to come back so this is our rel 7.9 which machine you can see it's a 7.9 kernel to a latest kernel version so you can see the red hat version uh, red hat linux and the server version 7.9 so in the introduction video as i said we have an option in red hat in place upgrade uh, with a utility package uh, le app so we need to download and install the package as well as uh, one of the zip file from red hat so let's see you know these are the logical steps we need to perform in order to upgrade directly from 7.9 to 8 so as i said earlier for a major version upgrade in the in the very uh, previously we used to rebuild the machines i mean to say we can't directly uh, upgrade from a major version let's for example 6 to 7 or 7 to 8 so at present there is a facility available in red hat through the app so there are some conditions so that we need to satisfy so first we need to update the latest kernel so this is the latest kernel available at present in 7.9 and uh, just for a safer side i have taken a uh, disk snapshot in uh, azure so i have taken a snapshot of this uh, os disk so if i go to the resource group This is a snapshot available for the current uh, OS. So this just for a safer side in case during the upgrade, I mean during the in-place upgrade, if something goes wrong, we can easily revert back to the 7.9. So that is just a safer side. So let me come back. So these are the steps we need to uh, follow. And there are quite a few uh, Windows doc I mean Microsoft documentation. So this document is we are going to follow on this particular upgrade. And I'll share you I'll share this link in the in description. Okay. So let us install uh, the Lear package. So the first as a first step we need to install the Le app package. So yum install y we have start but still you know it won't install everything we, we, we may need to install one more package let's see this was refreshing the rhy or a promoter so as i said as this pay as you go with the machine is getting installed so go to okay. so this is another dependent uh, uh, package you need to install and uh, there is one particular uh, .g zip file which we need to download from this particular uh, link so which I have already downloaded and which is already available also okay so here what we are doing is we are extracting this uh, tar.gz file and there will be a folder after installation of the app yeah it's installed now if you type the the app so you get the commands there are multiple options within this uh, commands these are the options upgrade lines uh, re-upgrade return etc rerun etc so yeah, let's check the extents of this uh, folder. It should be an empty folder. There won't be any files. Alright. Let me come back to the documentation. So here you can see add an answer file for the app. So answer file in the sense while we are running this the app upgrade option, this particular package I mean, in the, in the background, there will be quite a lot of script we will be running. We will completely analyze the server and we will scan the machine. So, we just make sure all the prerequisites are met. And if there is something not met, 
it will create a data file i mean to say it's a log file under this particular location uh, under slash bar so that is what on this particular step uh, we are adding it and as a final step we'll be entering this command leapp upgrade hyphen hyphen no rhsm because this is a payasivo model we need to pass this uh, uh, parameter okay so now we need to install this particular package also this is the another dependency if we didn't install this while we after we running this particular line and in this particular command we'll get an error message so let's see let let install this package also so i think it's already installed it's already installed okay so now we need to uh, copy the tar file well, that's i have already downloaded on my local machine so i need to transfer it to this particular uh, machine okay. Okay. let me i'll 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 just share uh, I'll share those videos in the next session. So let me uh, post this video. Okay, all thank you. We'll see you in the next video. Azure Linux Inline Upgrade Part 2. Please wait and see.